I'm Jim DeFeedy, and frustration is growing over the legislature's failure to pass anything to make condos safer in the wake of the Surfside tragedy. This week, we heard from the governor defending what he did, or rather didn't do, to help pass a reform bill. I supported them providing me a bill uh, uh, that would address the issue. In other words, the governor admitted he played no active role in trying to pass a bill that would protect three and a half million Floridians who live in condos. And 60% of those condos are in buildings that are more than 30 years old. Now, the week began with all the Democratic members of Congress from Florida calling on the governor to include condo safety reforms in next week's special session. On Thursday, Congresswoman Debbie Wasserman Schultz, who represents Surfside, held a press conference at the site of the collapse with city, county, and state officials. Here's some of what they had to say. It took 98 lives. Hundreds more were upended. Since then, countless tears soaked into the ground around us. Not far from here, I stood alongside President Biden, Surfside leaders from both sides of the aisle, and even Governor DeSantis and the mayor, where we found common ground amid that horrific wreckage. And we all looked into the cameras. We all told Floridians that not only would we get to the bottom of what happened, but we would do all we could to prevent another, surf, another tragedy like Surfside from happening anywhere in Florida again. While appreciating all the hard work that they do, we are asking them in Tallahassee to come together now for a special session with a unified purpose, to create and pass legislation on building and condo safety reform. <coughs> do not let this warning, which costs us so dearly, go without an effective response and preservative measures put in place. Please work together to ensure a tragedy like this never happens again. County government can only do so much without the state legislature. We're preempted by the state from undertaking the major actions that would make these coastal buildings safe, that will address our residents' fears and honor those who are lost. The legislature is returning to Tallahassee to draw congressional maps. Certainly, they can use this moment to address this issue that so many residents and, above all, the families of the 98 victims and the hundreds of survivors and families affected by this collapse are calling for. Indeed, people all across the state are calling for this action. After a legislative session that put partisanship over kitchen table issues, I am still trying to wrap my mind around the fact that my colleagues did not pass anything designed to address the problems revealed by the horrific collapse of these towers that we stand next to right now. It should alarm all the Floridians who are watching this that the state law concurrently sets no standards for high-rise inspections and under current law, condo boards that discover serious problems are also under no obligation to inform local authorities or unit owners. Miami-Dade and Broward counties are the only ones in the state that require inspections of the structural integrity of condos. And then it only begins at the full year mark. There are about 1.5 million condos in Florida with more than half in buildings over 30 years old. Their residents deserve to be safe. In fact, state house and Senate lawmakers moved legislation in Tallahassee that touched on crucial condo reserve and inspections issues. But sadly, they failed to find that common ground. And it seems they may have given up. And that's what we need today. We need common ground. I was deeply troubled by what state law lawmakers focused on in terms of their energy during the regular session. Frankly, a lot of it was personal, hurtful, and harmful. But I want to put aside, like we did almost a year ago, those deep divisions for today and focus on the common goal of avoiding another Surfside tragedy. My Democratic congressional colleagues and I just wrote to Governor DeSantis urging that he and st state lawmakers use next week's special legislative session to finish the job and pass condo reform that would honor all of those that we lost here by ensuring that no more Floridians face the same fate. We know if there is a will to do it, something can be done. And on this issue, they had momentum. <clears throat> Governor DeSantis needs to lead. He needs to get involved in getting this critical issue across the finish line. He hasn't said, hesitated to take the initiative on issues that he prioritizes. <laughs> we already see that with the redistricting session next week. He needs to engage with legislators and get condo reform legislation passed next week.